rocks, the focal point of many of my paintings because they add such grandeur to the landscape. Now let's check out some examples. Depending on the landscape that you're observing, there are many different types of rocks. In this example, I'm sketching out a smooth type granite rock. I'm making notes by shading in the underside of the rock, which means that the light is coming in from above. Aesthetically, they say it's better to have an odd number of items than it is to have an even number of items. So let's add one more rock. Start off by painting the entire rock with a light wash of raw sienna. No sense in painting the shadow side separately because we can always paint over it. Use clean water to dilute the edges to soften them up. I fell into an all too common trap here and that is over brushing. I decided not to edit this part out so I can show people what not to do. Now hang with me here, I'm going to redeem myself with these next two rocks. Rocks come in various shapes and sizes, but they also come in many different colors too. In my area, it's common to see rocks that look sort of greenish blue. So for these next two rocks, I'm using a wash of cerulean blue, raw sienna, and a little bit of hooker's green. And here's a really cool technique. If you just grab a palette knife or even an old credit card, and just scrape the rock while the paper is still a little bit wet. It'll create some pretty cool textures. Now as a last step, we want to push the valleys a little bit more by putting in the shadow side. And this time I managed not to overbrush. Now let's take a look at how to paint long jagged rocks. If you like hiking in the northeast, you'll likely see these types of rocks up on a ridge. Start off with a light wash of raw sienna and some type of gray or blue. There's no specific color we need to use here. These types of rocks are going to have a lot more of a sharp edge and more cracks and things like that in these rocks. That's what we're going to try to define here. going through now and defining the shadow side of these edges. So if the shadow's on the right, that means the sun is coming in from the top left. And now adding in little suggestions for where the cracks will go.
so far there's still only two main tones here, a really dark tone and a very light tone. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in a mid-tone, like a burnt sienna, to tie the whole thing together. And here I'm using a dry brush technique, just sort of having the brush on its side, scraping the paper with very little water. All right, and lastly, I'm using my rigor brush to paint in the cracks for the finishing touches. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.